Holy shit. This is actually fucking happening. Yo, what's up guys? SVG here in this video, checking out Dark Void by Asking Alexandria. What is up guys? I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I am so fucking excited to be making this video right now. I cannot express my excitement through this camera right now. You might be like, why the fuck are you so excited? It's just Asking Alexandria. Asking Alexandria is one of my favorite bands of all time. They've been one of my favorite bands for years. Definitely top five. They're probably my fourth, third... Probably my four favorite band. Now, just because they're like my four favorite doesn't mean I don't love them to death. I fucking love Asking Alexandria so much. I am a huge fan. This is probably going to be a little bit of a long intro, so I'll put the timestamp on the video if you guys want to go ahead and skip to the reaction. The last thing I heard from Asking Alexandria was their last album, See What's on the Inside, and that album came out before I made my channel, so I've never been able to react to Asking Alexandria because I've heard all of their music before my channel was made. I'm excited to check this out because it's Asking Alexandria, one of my favorite bands, but I'm also excited to check this out because of the teasers it's heavy. Danny is screaming again. Danny Warstop is one of my favorite vocalists of all time. Um, he had some of the best low screams in metalcore, and I'm, I'll die on that hill. I have heard a few people say that Danny has stated in interviews he's not really a fan of screaming anymore because he relates heavier music to a bad time in his life back when he was uh, an alcoholic and was having a hard time with alcohol, maybe even drugs, I'm not sure all about it. He doesn't want to make heavy music anymore because it makes him think of a time in his life where he was not in a good place, which I completely understand. But apparently he went back on his word because they made a heavy song based off the teaser. I have seen a lot of comments of people saying like, don't be fooled, guys. It's The, the album's not going to be heavy. The song's gonna, not going to be heavy. It's just going to be that one scream, and that's the end of it. I have hope. I think this song is going to be heavy. Now, I don't think it's going to be crazy like stand up and scream or anything but i think it's going to be a pretty cool modern metalcore sound i'm just not realizing that my hair looks like shit so i'm gonna put a hat on that looks worse i guess i'm gonna have to look like a fucking dork for this reaction i'm sorry for the long ass intro i'm just fucking excited about this um let's go ahead and get into this this is dark void by asian Andrea. let's go Oh my god. Let's go! Oh. Damn, Danny! Alright! If you're scratching the surface, I'm not mad yet, but the comments may have been right. If you're scratching the surface, try to find a purpose. I wonder what the devil will find. Trapped inside the prison of my mind, and I'm sick of messing up. Okay, listen, I don't care if people hate on Danny singing, because I think. Danny is an amazing singer. I love his southern twang. I know a lot of people talk about him making country music and how he should be a country artist and all that. I think he has a great music for metalcore. A great music for metalcore? A great voice for metalcore. Every time I try to start, stop, I fall apart. This structure is sick. Of course. a little falsetto Danny I'm not disappointed that it's not as heavy as I expected I think we're gonna get a breakdown and it's gonna be heavy I did not expect these verses to be so similar to the last album I do like them implementing that factor in the verses of like the instrumental picking up and the energy picking up and then bringing it back down again it's a cool little change of pace within the verse it is a little similar to the last album but it feels new I wish he would have screamed at the end of that chorus there if you dig into the dirt, to see what you can find inside. This is nice. Inside the, the layers. The video is very cool too. Can't escape the darkness. The production's 
The production on the mixing is pretty cool too. They write catchy choruses, man. You can't hate on it. That is sick. Breakdown. Oh, come on. Oh my god. I need, I need, Danny, I need you to do one of those stand up and scream lows. This is an over baby, don't believe you. Don't let it, don't let me down. Just fall asleep inside this nightmare, seeking every part of me. Let's go! Nothing left coming soon. An album. Nothing left. With a sick ass car on the cover. I try to let go, need a pass behind. Or is this a single? Nothing left is not an album title. There's that's no. Nothing left's the next song. Alright, let's listen to this. I try to let go, need a pass behind, but I can't escape the memories and broken minds. I can't let go. So maybe this album's not going to be very heavy. Oh, fuck me, I guess. I'm wrong. What the fuck was that? That's not it. That was Dark Void by Asking Alexandria. Overall, I'm just happy we got new Asking Alexandria. I'm happy that it is relatively heavy. Not what I expected, not what I wanted, but I'm not upset. So I really like the intro building up into the riff to go into the first verse. The intro honestly reminded me of uh, Reckless and Relentless or even from Death to Destiny. Just it had the same vibe. That's why I was very excited at first when we first started hearing the song. But we went to a pretty nice riff. Then we dropped it down into a singing chorus or verse. And uh, I love Danny's singing. I love his verses. He's a very... No one talks about how good of a songwriter Danny is. I mean, I know he doesn't write all of Asking Alexandria's music. I know the guitarist, I forget his fucking name all the time. But I know he actually writes most of Asking's uh, music. I like that they implemented the energy in the middle of the verse, picking up the pace with the instruments and even the vocals, and they drop it back down again, kind of like just blue balling you a little bit. Then we kicked into this huge catchy chorus which is really nice they write amazing choruses very catchy really liked the little falsetto he did towards the end of the chorus as a little nice touch that you don't see a lot in metal honestly they did like the little bridge and it amped it up and then you thought it was going to drop and they like prolonged the bridge a little bit which is cool to make a bridge unique and a element in a song unique and different it would have hit a lot harder if they didn't do that though because i was just so hyped and going and then it stopped and they bridged a little longer and i was like ah oh, I was about to come right there and you stopped me. So that kind of sucked. The breakdown itself wasn't your typical breakdown from Asking Alexandria. When you think about breakdowns, you think about the dun -dun -dun -dun, like this zero spacing with Danny's fucking lows on it. It's just that's what you think of when you think about those 2010s Asking Alexandria breakdowns. And I thought it was gonna be just this typical kind of 
not great breakdown and then back into the chorus. They really shocked me with the way they entered the next chorus. You're so used to in modern metalcore how the breakdown happens and they do a dropout chorus and then drop it into the chorus, which I was expecting, honestly. But they, like, jumped into the chorus with the breakdown still going. Like, the drumming, the kicks were still fucking going. And I'm like, what's happening? There's, like crazy noises on this chorus right now this why is the chorus heavy i was so confused but it wasn't the chorus it's like they added the chorus vocals and some of the chorus instrument elements on the breakdown and extended it and then like kept breakdowning it was fucking crazy and then i thought i was like oh that was really cool good like good for you guys and i thought they were gonna go into the actual chorus and then they just ended it with a like little slow singing sad boy Danny outro. So I was just fucking shocked. And then moved my cursor and there's still 45 seconds left of the song. I'm like, whoa, they're about to hit me with a, this isn't over baby. Like, I was like, oh God, they're gonna like surprise fucking breakdown all out of nowhere, right? But they were showing a sneak peek of the next song. Very different marketing to put a preview of the next song in a music video of your song that just came out. I don't know, I actually fucking loved it because it's Asian Alexandria. Um, I am not disappointed, I don't think. I was expecting heavier, but can't always get what you want. Um, people are gonna hate the song, I know people are, but I enjoyed it and I'm gonna be jamming this a lot. Let me know what you guys thought about this song down in the comments down below. Also, while you're down there, let me know what your favorite Asian Alexandria album is. Mine is Stand Up and Scream for sure. Reckless and Relentless is a close second, but Stand Up and Scream is just amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for future Asian Alexandria reactions. I just had a stroke. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the future. Man!